Um, I've been using reuse in my, at least in my private projects for many years. Um, I was uh, previously um, a staffer at FSFE, so I worked on the reuse project uh, as well, um, more in my free time, but still. Um, and in our, my, my professional time, I started using reuse at the company probably we started like five years ago as a small project and then it slowly grew until now uh, last year we managed to convert a lot of our main repository so like 60,000 files of source code into uh, reuse I think the main advantage with reuse is that it is a very clear way to express copyright and license information um, and clearly you can use also other SPDX stacks if you wanted to. Um, and what, ha what enabled that inside our company was that we could make a very clear uh, separation between which code is ours and which isn't, um, as well as um, it enabled us to, to, to unify the code uh, to be more easily manageable uh, because we don't need to have like two separate repositories anymore. Because of some specifics um, we managed to when we were when we uh, switched to reuse um, that kind of snowballed a lot of the internal processes to um, streamline uh, our licensing documents um, and to streamline um, some technical development, uh, which caused us in turn to save a lot of engineering time and um, even uh, shorten negotiations and, and uh, sales cycles because things were much more clearer. Um, I think reuse has a bright future, but to be applicable to, especially for larger projects such as ours, which is like 100,000 and more uh, files in the repository, it will need to um, be more flexible in certain points. So, so, so to be able to um, glob um, files um, and um, also on a snippet level um, de declare uh, certain licenses and all of that is already in the works for both the I think 3.1 or 3.2 release um, and uh, the big change probably for the 4.0 release um, so I'm looking forward to that and I think it's gonna help a lot um, but it's a very careful balance because on one hand, you know, for it to be, for, for it to, you know, not just corporation, but even um, larger or faster moving open source projects to adopt it, it needs to be flexible. But on the other hand, we need to make sure within reuse that it's not so flexible that it defeats the original purpose of being um, stable and reliable. Um, I think the reuse, the one thing that's really um, it's a really good selling point for reuse is that it's actually based on the SPDX2 uh, specification. So now that SPDX has been for a few years already an ISO standard, the tags that are used in SPDX and therefore also in reuse are well known by um, not just people, but a lot of um, tooling um, that are, is used to analyze uh, licensing and other information within source code. So that is, I think, a very compelling reason why reuse um, is taking off. Um, and um, honestly, I mean, as an alternative, I don't think I've seen so far anything else that is as predictable as SPDX and reuse are.